This video is for you if you have been a pretty good student with above average grades your whole life but now you just failed his exams and does not know how to recover from it. So if you're not used to getting bad grades, I want you to stick and watch this whole video. You have failed your exams, now what? Welcome to Practical Happiness, I'm Happiness Coach Al and I've been a pretty hard working student my whole life but recently in my first uni exams my hard work did not pay off. At first I didn't know how to react, I was honestly just like you, disappointed in myself and wondering what other people would think. That is exactly why I decided to make this video, explaining to you how you can recover from your failed exams. You worked your ass off for days, studied hard, skipped some of your favorite activities in order to guarantee good results, but you still failed. Because you forgot to keep in your mind that hard work will not always lead to success. You're at school and the teacher hands in your exam papers. You look at the front page and suddenly your heart just starts beating like never before. Your stress is at an all time high. Maybe you slept like shit or did not eat well and you start going over the exam. Fuck, I studied this, you keep repeating but you cannot seem to get the answer and you get demotivated. Of course your result will be not eye-opening if this is the sequence of actions that lead you in the exam. One thing could have prevented all of this everything and that's to think about what could go wrong. We humans and especially students have a huge fear of failing and that fear drives us to study harder, to sleep less. When we are controlled by fear and cannot think rationally, it is a trap for disappointment. This simple practice will help you get better grades than ever before. Close your eyes. Think of you going to your exam. Think about the teacher handing the papers. You feeling a bit nervous like usual of course, but this time you stay calm and you finish your exam with ease. This simple practice will help you provision your future happenings and you will be ready to face the other factors that may lead you to disappointment and have calm at all times. Chances are high that if you clicked on this video, you really do care about your grades. It is a form of status amongst your family and friends, something that gives you recognition. So failing an exam is like having an identity crisis, especially if you're not used to it. But think about this, who are you really studying for? Who are you working your ass off for days? No one else but yourself. You are building your future. Not your parents, not your friends, not your family, but you are working towards your future. And whenever we work hard for something we want, we will eventually fail and be disappointed in ourselves. That will happen. In those moments, a lot of us will get criticized and we will be seen as a disappointment. In those moments, it is a student's mentality. It's your mentality that will help you recover from it. Keep in mind that you worked hard, no one else but yourself, and you need to fail in order to learn from your mistakes. So in reality, what they think or do, does not matter. Stress and its consequences to your grades. A huge influence in you not succeeding in your exams and even life is your stress. Approximately one third of the population feels extreme stress on a daily basis. That number for Americans, 50%. There is a reason why we experience high levels of stress on a daily basis. Things like internet overload, fast food, social media, sports are some of them. But also the fear, especially of failing, is the root of it for students. Stress has been a pretty big factor in your life for years. It has left you unable to decide, not able to perform, miss opportunities and also get worse grades than you should. You let your stress take over you because you do not know its benefits. Yes, as crazy as it sounds, stress has benefits. It can increase immunity in the short term, it can make you more resilient, may motivate you to succeed, but most importantly for you as a student, stress helps boost your brain power. But why did I not see its benefits then? Help? Simple. Because you did not know them. Your mind believes what you believe. Say you are sick and you will get sick. Say you can't and you can't. And say you will, you will. From now on, whenever a stressful situation will arise in your life, you think about the positive effects of stress and your mind will work in your favor. If you made it to this part of the video, I want to congratulate you. You really do want to become happy. And now you also know what to do to recover from your bad grades. Also, if you want to talk one on one about your problems, click the first link in the description. Thank you for watching and as always, never forget that happiness is achieved.